Real Madrid are facing a crucial period on the pitch, but attention is already turning to the transfer window. It's shaping up to be a busy summer de Santiago Bernabeu, but who is on the wanted list? As always, there are some big names in the mix. Madrid are interested in goalkeepers David De Gea and Thibaut Courtois, and they are keeping tabs on Monaco's Kylian Mbappé, Paolo Dybala of Juventus, and of course, Eden Hazard. Nothing is close to being done, and the deal will not be easy to pull off. But Madrid hope to free up space in their squad by not so much selling Isco, who is close to renewing his contract, but by selling James Rodriguez. It's easy to see anyway why they are so keen on Hazard. The Belgian has been the inspiration behind Chelsea's title charge and Antonio Conte. He has returned to his brilliant best after a difficult season last year. Madrid are not short of attacking talent, but this is how Florentino Perez's business model works. Buy the best players, then ask the coach to find a way to use them. Hazard's numbers over the last four seasons do not quite match up to Cristiano Ronaldo Gareth Bale and Karim Benzema. As you can see, Real Madrid's BBC front three have all contributed more goals and assists since the 2013-14 season. But Zinedine Zidane is already working on a plan to accommodate Hazard. The idea is for Cristiano Ronaldo to play as Madrid's number nine, which will allow the Belgian to line up in his favourite position on the left flank or even play as the number ten. That will also fit Karim Benzema as he likes to move around and links well with other players who do exactly that. So Madrid are confident they will could keep all of the forwards happy. While Hazard is not as prolific as Ronaldo, Benzema and Bale, the stats show he would bring something different to that attack. One of his best attributes is undoubtedly his dribbling ability. Hazard has made five times as many successful dribbles as any of the BBC this season. In fact, his total of 121 is the highest in the Premier League and second only to Neymar in La Liga. Hazard's ability to be the man frequently makes the difference for Chelsea. Take his brilliant solo goal against Arsenal two months ago. He easily gets past Francis Coquelin, then turns Lauren Concielsen inside out before finishing pass Peter Cech. There you have it. So it's easy to imagine him doing the same for a Madrid side that prefers to counter-attack. Hazard will thrive with that space. The dribbling is just a start. Hazard is known as a talented soloist with clinical finishing skills, but his ability as a provider can sometimes be overlooked. This season he has created 57 scoring opportunities. It's nearly twice as many as Ida Bale, Benzema or Ronaldo. Even if you consider that he has made more appearances, his average of 2.3 chances created per 90 minutes is still far higher than any of Real Madrid's current forwards. It's not just a recent trend either. Since the 2013-14 season, Hazard has created a whopping total of 316 chances. It's considerably more than any of the BBC. Bell's total by contracts is almost half that amount. In short, Hazard takes all the boxes for Real Madrid. The Belgium is a world star who would add a new dimension to their attack. Now it's your remind to be seen whether they can persuade Chelsea to do business instead of renewing his contract, which they are working hard to achieve. So, meanwhile, thanks to the Features team for their help, and we'll see you again next week for more analysis.